Hey guys, 1-2 here with a nice and simple video tutorial. Um, what I'm going to be showing is how to make a cool um, slow motion trails effect behind uh, any sort of unit. Um, in this case, of course, I'm going to use a Zergling. As everyone knows, they're my uh, standard de facto unit that I always use. So if I zoom in here and I click on my Zergling and um, I move them around, you can see there's a little trail of slow motion kind of thing behind them. Um, and it's pretty simple to do. It's based off of the High Templar. So we're just going to be doing a lot of copy pasting from there and changing, but it um, kind of makes a nice cool little trail effect. And you could actually slow down your game like by setting the time scale of the units or something if you actually wanted it to be slow motion, but um, as in this case it's just a cool trailing effect, but it's not actually a slow motion game. But that's all I'm going to be showing is how to do this cool effect you see behind the Zergling uh, as he moves. So um, let's close this down and uh, I'm going to see you in the data editor of the StarCraft 2 editor. Okay, um, so first let me just uh, let me just close or start a new map so I'll be on the same page as everybody else here. Anything's fine, doesn't matter. Um, I'd assume you'd probably be doing this to a map you already had or whatever, so I'm just going to use a Zergling in this case. Um, and before we go in the data editor, like I mentioned, uh, we should actually just place our little Zergling. Um, so with the terrain editor open, just make sure you're on the units layer, and then make sure you're on player one, and whatever is there, Zerg is good, and then you can find the Zergling. And I'm just going to drop it here in the center. And that's all we got to do here um, to get this working. So now we're going to open the data editor and hit that button. And um, like I said, we're going to be duplicating off of the High Templar. And we're pretty much going to be exclusively in the Actors tab here. If you don't have the Actors tab, you can right click. I mean, you can uh, right click on this plus here and edit Actor Data Actors, and it'll show up. The, t the tab will show up. Um, so from the start, first thing we're going to do is search for High Templar. And um, you see this one, High Templar Shadow? So uh, we're going to copy paste this, and this is the little trail effect behind the High Templar. Um, and we're not going to have a specific, like, the, they actually have a specific model that Blizzard uses for the silhouette behind the, behind the High Templar. Uh, we're just going to use a regular Zergling since Zerglings don't have, like, a cool custom-made model. Um, and as you can click on this and see, it's like a kind of a half-visible one. But um, ours still looks pretty cool with the way we did it, with the way I did it, so... I'm going to double click this and just rename it to Zergling Shadow. Hit Suggest and hit OK. And uh, now I'm going to have to clear the search bar and set my data source back to my map so I can find it. And um, what we're going to do is change the art model to be Zergling. You can type out the full word Zergling and it'll actually navigate to it if you type it fast enough. And um, that's all we need to do here for now. Um, next what we're going to do is switch this back to all data and then we're going to search for Zergling. And then we're going to find the main one here for Liberty, just the one that's just called Zergling here, the actor, that's just that specific name. And um, we're going to double click on Event Events Plus, the value here. And this is where you can do certain events for the actor, like when it dies, it does certain things, as you've seen me do in a lot of other tutorials um, in this area. And what we're going to do is just copy-paste, so just Control c Control v on the last one so that um, we'll be able to see it in the XML view in a second here. Um, you'll see the reason. Just so we have one of one of these events in green, so it's um, flagged under our map. And same with the Zergling itself. Um, so now what we can do is search for High, t uh, oops, high Templar and click on the main one here, the straight up unit one. And then we're going to hit Control 3 to switch to XML view. Um, it might take a second here actually. It looks like my editor I think is frozen. Yep. Oh boy. Um, you can also hit view and then choose XML view instead of hitting control 3. Um, but uh, I like to start using hotkeys and I like to start mentioning more hotkeys um, while I'm while I'm explaining stuff to people. And uh, let's see. Um, nicely enough, um, we're on liberty.se2 mod so if you're not please click on liberty.se2 mod in the header here. And we're going to find the following, which is, uh, and you could find these, um, you could find these in regular table view rather than XML view, which is what I was on before. But you can't copy paste them between actors, so this is a lot quicker way to do this. So, as you can see, here, terms for the shadow effects, which is the slow motion trails, which we want. So, we want to start copying from here all the way to this one, and just hit Control C. And then what we're going to do is uh, uh, switch our data to untitled map or whatever your map is. 
clear High Templar and then click on Zergling. Oops, just once. And then now you can see, um, if, make sure your header is set to Untitled Map. And now you can see we have this one line here, which was the thing we did um, for, let me, let me make this a bit wider. The thing we copy pasted in the events, so we have, so we can actually see um, something. Otherwise, we'd have to go into one of these other headers and its lag gear. So now I can just move this line down, space it out. You can't tab, as far as I know, and then uh, Control V, and then space this one out, and then we can actually delete this first line because we don't want that copy pasted. Um, it was just there so that we could see our unit under the uh, under our map flagged. We can see Zergling here rather than under, we have to go into Liberty and paste it in there, which would be more messy. Um, and now that's pretty much good in there. Uh, so uh, let's see. And we can just hit, uh, I think we can just hit uh, Control 1. And uh, looks good here. So now if you double click on Events, we're back in Table View and we can see all of our cool, um, all of our cool new stuff is in here now. Um, so now, we're that, now that we're going to uh, see all this stuff, we might have to, uh, change a few things in here because obviously it's still set to the high Templar um, So this is fine. It's creating a timer um, That that fades out the unit or whatever or creates a unit the shadow unit actor. I mean um, Create high Templar shadow. Here's a problem. It should be uh, the other actor. We just made earlier, which is taking forever to load up uh, Zergling shadow so now um, this this Zergling actor every 0.2 seconds will run a timer and that timer will uh, make sure that it's on shadow mode, which means we're walking. Um, it's actually pretty brilliant how Blizzard did this. So um, when the unit's standing, it sets a, some sort of status thing, shadow create to zero. When it starts walking, it sets shadow create to one. And then this timer, meanwhile, is running every 0.2 seconds and deciding to create the uh, slow motion trail behind it, depending whether it's shadow mode or whether models are on high. And then it creates that kind of shadow effect which is pretty darn cool how, um, how they did this all in the events here. Um, and now we can go test, and you should see um, the sort of trail effect. I'm going to go hit, I'm gonna go hit test map. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to move my... So you can see it looks normal here, and then when I move them around, he creates that trail effect. Now you notice that it looks different than the one that I showed you earlier, and there's like shadow under the, under the trails, and it's not as cool. So I'm going to just show you quickly um, how, what, I, what values I changed to make it look like the one you saw in the first demo rather than this one straight copy from the High Templar. Um, so let me close this down and I'll meet you back in the data editor. Okay, so for our Zergling actor, the first thing we're gonna do here is go into events. And um, let me see what my values were. So for this timer, I believe instead of 0.2, it was 0 0.0625, which is the minimum tick rate on Battle.net. Um, and then I had to change this down here as well. 0 0.0625, make sure you make them the same number. Um, the zeros can get a bit confusing there. And that's okay for that because it means we're going to create a lot more shadow effects in a short period. So it's going to be more uh, like a fade rather than just seeing the individual trails behind, as you saw in that quick demo we just did. And now for the Zergling shadow, um, one thing we need to change first to get rid of the shadows below this unit, which was kind of ugly. It created like a regular shadow like our unit has. Uh, we need to, uh, let's, see what let's see what my... Uh, value set here. Accepted property transfers, we need to undo cast shadows so it doesn't, just in case this might override anything. Um, and then events plus. Okay, so act to creation, timer set, I believe uh, I used 0 0.0625 which uh, worked pretty well for the quick, for a quick fade out. Um, tint can be whatever. I'm not going to mess around with tint that much. I don't think it really changes anything too significantly. Um, set opacity, this one's going to be the same. This one uh, left it at 0.5, but the blend in duration was 0 0.0625, so it blends in really fast. And then once it's about to die or whatever, or fade away, um, actually, I think I left this the same, yeah. So it has a long fade, so then you can see the trail for a long time. Um, but I did add one more event here, which is, um, so right click add event. Um, the events, instead of damage, it's going to be actor creation, and the action is going to be uh, set, cast shadows, and disabled. So whatever default it is. So now this thing won't cast shadows, and we'll go test and take a look at this. Okay, let's see. I'm going to zoom in here, and yeah, you can see the trail is pretty quick behind the unit. Um, it's almost it's almost like kind of invisible, but um, 
that's what kind of makes it cool is like it looks like he's could have kind of got a speedy motion to him you could play around with the numbers to kind of make it so the trails last a bit longer behind him but in my case I kept it uh, sort of pretty pretty tight following um, but yeah it's pretty cool it's a pretty short tutorial um, I was actually trying to do it in a more complicated way and then luckily enough prosaic news the data editor genius um, alerted me that the high templar has already the slow motion trails so uh, it saved me quite a lot of time in this tutorial and uh, it'll save you because you can just copy paste but it's still quite a bit of work to copy paste everything and nicely enough the XML view really saved us time because without it you'd have to you know write down what was in the high templar actor and then switch to the events for the zergling actor and then redo them all there whereas we can just copy paste the XML straight through um, a huge time saver and less error prone so Anyways, thanks for watching, and um, I hope to have more tutorials out soon.